I haven't hit the button this time. Mm-hmm. You can't just so loud, Bubby. Be quiet over there for one second. <laughs> Swear to God, can't even get through the intro. Gotta get settled. Get here earlier. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the podcast. It's all fish and ships. The podcast. My name is Thor. And I'm sitting at the head of the table, and I uh, demand respect. Um, no. Uh, this is episode 55 of It's All Fish and Chips, the podcast. <laughs> to, uh, he just says podcast so many times. Podcast? <laughs> I don't want to be confused that it's a radio show. Uh, to my left, in Bro, his uh, Bahama Bubby <laughs> outfit, he went on a cruise and got a whole new lifestyle while he's out there. <laughs> Upside down pineapples galore. It's oh. Bubby. How about that apple? Oh, that, wait. That's it. mine, first of all. <laughs> that's yours. Dang it. God. I forgot to have a gong bang. I'm not having a gong bang. I'll be honest with you. Uh, next to Bubby, we have a very special guest, um, friend of the podcast. Um, and do you have that? Uh, I'm just sidetracked myself. Amanda, did you got, you got that email, right? Because I have to. we have yeah. to show Bubby, I think. Yeah. Okay. I would meant to write it down, but I didn't. <laughs> anyway, friend of the podcast. I am all over the place today. Uh, we've got Corey. Hello. There's Corey. Uh, what's your catchphrase, Corey? Uh, we'll get back to you. Okay. <laughs> put, put him on the spot <laughs> and he drop, <laughs> drop the ball. I didn't um, expect it. <laughs> um, Golly. Next to uh, uh, Corey, um, my... Uh, my uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, my, now who can't think My of God, it. it's a man. Hi. <laughs> <sighs> It's going to be a long one, kids. <laughs> and then finally, back from detention, um, set free from his house. It's not raining, so he's allowed to be here. We've got Tyler. How do you like them, Apple? Uh, there you go, Bubby. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, Thank you. Bubby. You're welcome. Um, so, uh, it's podcast, podcast, podcast. Um, drink. Uh, it's it's muggy as hell out. It's yep. unpleasant. Mm-hmm. We don't like it. We're not going outside. Nope. Um, I like it. Hottest do part you? of the summer. I don't think I'll like tomorrow. What's tomorrow? It's supposed to be real hot. Like 109. <laughs> it's, it's real hot today. <laughs> it's not. Like, it's not that like hot. every time that the weather ch- people are like, you're under heat advisory. It's going to be real hot. I'm like, yeah, it's summer in Missouri. It's, it's August. That's true. Yeah, it's August. I, yeah. And <laughs> is it is it going to be enough that my grass bursts into flame? No, then don't tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm thanks. got provisions for everything else. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. AC's working. I'm good. <laughs> I got a kiddie pool. I'm going to fill up with ice and just sit out there in it. It'll be fine. Um, so um, to continue on, our current trend, yep. we've got some flavors left to go. We do. Um, we had picked this flavor out previous to when Tyler was going to be back because we wanted mm-hmm. him to be punished. Because um, I need punishment. This week's 24-ounce, big 24-ounce of Fago is cotton candy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no one is excited about this flavor. I'm going to be real honest with you, but we're going to drink her anyway. 70 grams of sugar in one bottle. In one bottle? Yeah. Because they split up the thing, yeah. Yeah. All right, Bubby. Now it's your turn. It's called delicious cotton candy. Delicious cotton candy. Well, it wouldn't sell very well if it put... And this, by the way, this, by the way, is... (laughs) Genuine Fago, it says right on the label, as opposed to bootleg Fago. <laughs> people, out, people out there faking Fago. Yeah, it's, I got I got bootleg Fago. Oh, what flavor is it? Boot. <laughs> Boot. All right, Bubby. Now's the time. You can do the honors. You got five glasses in front of you today, but I'm gonna give you a hint. One of them is just a regular shot glass, and that should probably not go to any of the four regular members. But I'll I let you decide. This. Can, you I, can I do that one first? You can do that one first. There you okay, go. clear oh, goes to Corey. Go. Good job. Merry Christmas. Thank you. That was the easy one. You should write this down or get flashcards or something. I also d- disagree with the order that we do this in. Shouldn't he pour them first and then pass them out? He could do that if he if you want him to. Bobby, pour the shot. That's He's his own man. He yeah, does I what he wants. That. Take this pressure. Back. That's Just a lot of pressure on Bobby now. That's even more pressure. <laughs> All right, to, <laughs> How is it more to remind uh, <laughs> to remind everybody of our previous flavors and their rankings, for especially for those who didn't weren't here for two of them. Hmm. Um, <laughs> We had creamsicle that yep. is at the bottom of the list. Then we had pineapple. Pineapple. How was pineapple? Pineapple's pretty good, and that's mid in the middle. Yeah. Thank you. And then top right now is grape. Okay. And the grape was pretty good. It's very grapey. Hmm. Um, I don't usually fall for grape sodas, but it tasted like bubblicious. All right. Wow. Grape bubblicious. That is correct. Bubby handed me the correct shot glass. 
So he's doing good so far. Was it was it ever determined? Does ICP get any money from this? From I do not Vegas? believe so. I don't know. I wish. I don't believe that I see. I mean, they probably get a cut under the table, right? That's You're looking like back a, and thanks. forth like you don't know which one's yours. They get all the Fago they want. Yeah, like the, he's down to two. Well, and he knows which one's his. You, you haven't been here in a while, so... I but you still know which one's yours. <laughs> so when you're down to you two... You assume that. You assume. <laughs> but I've slept since then. All right. I wish, what's that like, Bubby? Because I haven't done a lot of that recently, and I'd love to know it's what that's like. glorious until um, you have to wake up. Yeah, right. <laughs> well... Mm-hmm. There's that. There's your family just staring at you when you wake up. <laughs> just the dog. Just the dog. Just the, t- the rest of them have left. <laughs> They've moved out. Moved in with the Although, yeah, mother-in-law. The wife is usually at work, going to work before I get up. No, oh, it's good work if you Parker's, can get it. It's Parker's right. something bad. Who's down in this first? All right, but um, we'll let Corey go for it. He's Corey. The, he's okay. the, um, <laughs> Some of that it's got a nice perfume. Does it? Oh, it is. It smells like cotton candy. It smells exactly like cotton candy. Mm. Like if you were at the fair and you went up to that that can, little stand and you just oh, stuck wow. your can, head can in. Can I share something with you guys? Yes. I fucking hate cotton candy. <laughs> really? I fucking hate it. So it's a good time to figure that out. <laughs> no, I knew that before. For us to figure that out. Yeah, I knew that beforehand. All right, he's going. How mm. how cotton candy is it? It's questionable. No, it t- you know, it tastes kind of like a like a cream soda light. Okay, Tyler, big fan of yeah. cream soda, so oh, that works out well. Cream soda. Turn Tyler right. a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll go next. I don't care. All right. Cotton candy, got me. <laughs> oh no, no, that tastes like cotton candy to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, good at least. <laughs> I don't like the consistency. I don't like the melt in your mouth disaster yeah. that is cotton candy. It's just sugar. Makes you sticky. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> if if that was criteria for candy. things I didn't like, <laughs> yeah, no I wouldn't be doing anything. Do a lot of things. Right? No. Why is mine still bubbling? <laughs> That's I put something in there. Don't worry about what's in there. Yeah. That's for later. Sorry. Just yeah. if, you, if your mouth tastes like pennies, don't worry about it. It's a riffy colada. Enjoy. <laughs> oh. No, no, Bubby's against. No, not even cotton candy. I don't know what. It's just like sugar. Yeah. Oh, the second time's worse because there's no flavor. No, cream, cream soda light. Like, yeah, yep. I taste cream soda. Yeah, that's cream that's what it tastes like to me. All right, Amanda. Amanda hates all of this whole competition here. I like it. Um. Yeah, it tastes like cream um, soda. Okay. So, Fago cotton candy or cream, delicious cream soda. Tyler loves cream soda. I wouldn't have known the difference if you just said this is cream soda and handed this to me and I'd <laughs> yeah. be like, that's good cream soda. It's blue, but it's pretty good. <laughs> it's got some extra dyes in it. All right, Tyler. Where, where are you going to put this? It's better than the Dream Sickle, I think. Okay. so It's lighter. All right, Tyler, Tyler only has one like soda it. to reference here. Yeah, no, I think it's the best so, right. of the oh, yeah. two that I like. You put it above Dream Sickle, Bobby? Um, I don't think it actually has a flavor. The second, I think it's just when you go back. <laughs> I would, I would go when you go back the second time. There is no flavor. No, you are correct. I, I would put it below Dream Sickle. Oh, Bobby's going below Dream. Oh. Are there any actual flavors in there? Uh, no, it, it's like, hey, here's everything you put in soda plus sucralose blue. <laughs> Sucral- blue Make, sugar. We got blue go. sugar in here. Yep. Here's it's all. Just a smell. Yeah, it's carbonated. Yeah, water, I think it is a smell. Corn syrup. Where are you putting this one, Amanda? Trash. In the trash. <laughs> up your <laughs> below, below or above creamsicle. I think probably below. Mm. That's kind of where I'm at too. I'm kind of. Yeah. So this is bottom tier fago is what you're saying. This is so far the bottom tier fago. Wow. Okay. No, uh, this one's carbonated. I'm glad you could be here for this, yeah, Corey. Yeah, I'm really glad it's carbonated. Guys, it's I'm, the only carbonated yeah. we've had. No, so pineapple was no. carbonated. Was just, it? Just kind of. Okay. But that might have been the bottle's fault, not ours. I don't even ours. taste the bubbles. I don't, don't even taste the bubbles. It's just CO2. Ah, delicious CO2. Delicious CO2. All right, so we're not excited about the cotton candy. I we will probably finish it off. There's no. enough of us here. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, top like, us off. Or and, it's out. If it's I get out. thirsty. Um, if I get thirsty. If I, what's what's your? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm not even getting into that with you, Bummy. Um, <laughs> I have lost the freaking list of things that we were going to talk about here. Have you got anything fun? You have a uh, lot of pictures. I have a lot of pictures that yeah. we've posted up here, but uh, let's go back to Tyler Head. So the one I posted? Yeah. So I found this for sale in our local, local Oh, that market. was not the one I was going for. You had oh. posted um, about... We're going to loop to that one, right. Aaron. You set me up. Uh, Miss Jezebel. <laughs> so I thought I told this, and I was really hoping that I didn't. But So we were going to oh, Tulsa no, no, a couple no of weeks ago, and there was a some Jeep. It was like a teal Jeep 
that was riding beside us the entire way home, and it had like cricket letters that you had printed off vinyl and put on the side of okay. the hood. You know how they put not professional, but no. amateur. Yeah, okay. you know, on Jeeps, how they'll put names on the side of the hood. Yeah, you know Mojave or Turn that kind of stuff. Well, this mm-hmm. said Mrs. Jezebel on the side of it, and I was like, first of all, I don't think she knows what that means. And second of all, it'd be a lot funner if you just put she just put Queen Whorehouse on it. Queen of the Whorehouse. <laughs> I don't know who. What's Dolly Parton? Yeah, I got to turn you up. I can't hear you for shit. No, it's all right. (laughs) It doesn't matter what I hear. (laughs) You keep talking. You keep talking either way. (laughs) It just caught me really funny. You wouldn't wouldn't have a guy that was rolling down, you know, putting, you know, Captain Dick Bag or whatever, you know, some derogatory (laughs) thing about yourself on your car. Miss Jezebel is just proud of her profession. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. uh, What if that's actually her name? Yeah, what if her name is Jezebel? It's not. How do you know? Because did you ask her? No, I didn't ask her. Did you get a good look at her? Yeah, I did. Okay. And, are are uh, you sure it was it was like a, a custom cricket job? Yes. Did so, it come with a car? So, so there was like <laughs> there was like a design a process yes, though, yes, where, there was where she that somebody, sat and was like, hmm, what, like hey, what could I, it be? I need you to make this sign for my car. What's it going to be? Is it going to be like a like a ladybug? I like or that, that no, in no, your no. story, it's not her. It's she had to go to she, somewhere. Right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Chancing me out here. Got to go to a gift place. Like Fifty dollars on Etsy for that thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go to a getting place for that kind of stuff. <laughs> you got to go to the getting yeah. place. <laughs> I'm, I, you know what, Miss Jezebel, if you're out there listening to this podcast, which I know you're not, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you should write in and defend yourself because Tyler, I think you're wrong here. I think she's proud of who she is. Okay, she's Miss Jezebel. She's Miss everybody. Jezebel. In that, everybody in that town knows who she is. Patty the daytime hooker. You know what I'm saying? Patty the daytime. <laughs> you just, uh, she's just, you know, ad, maybe yeah. it's advertising. Maybe she, is there a phone number that goes with that on that car? No. No, there was not. I like the people who have like their uh, Venmo or uh, Cash App on the yeah. car just written on the windshield. Like, I want to send them a dollar. That way you can send a message. Get the fuck out of my way whenever you're driving yeah. behind them on the street. I'm, I'm going to send you a request for $10 mm-hmm. and get the fuck out of my way. So, all right, Miss Jezebel. Good job, Miss Jezebel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just closed my damn thing. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Bubby. Thor. What's going on? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> What's going on with you? <laughs> well, hey, you know, I got this Malort bottle staring at me. Oh shit! Have you not? I forgot. Do you want to try the Malort? Oh, I've had Malort. Oh. I've had. I was say so, he was in Chicago. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. but a, right. f- a fun story about Malort. Oh, I would love to hear the okay. fun story. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'll, I'll I'll fast forward through the the sports oh, parts. Oh but, no, you can but, drag this out as long as you want. <laughs> sure. We got time to fill. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, Use all the words. When I was in Chicago, the uh, hockey team there, the Blackhawks, was doing very well. Uh-huh. And they picked up a player named Marion Hosa, who was a great goal scorer. Okay. And someone got on Twitter uh, and got Marion Hosa's name and started tweeting as Marion Hosa. Oh, okay. And so it, he, it was... He, he, he bootlegged the, the, the title, Marion right, Hosa. Right, on, right. And it was kind of... He was just playing X. the sort of dumb sports guy we all... The Gronkowski, like... Right. Hosa shoot or what you know, right? <laughs> but we score good. Score. Yeah. At some point, he started tweeting before every game. Uh-huh. Uh, Malort and nachos. Okay. And so that became a tradition in Chicago. And if you went down, there was a, there was a Blackhawks bar called the 50, 50, and they had a $10 uh-huh. shot of Malort and nachos you could get on game night. And you would see people loaded up with shots of Malort oh. and nachos. There's no yeah, amount of, them. So yeah. bad. there's yeah. no amount of nachos in the world. No. That's going to get that taste mm-hmm. out of your mouth. It's not that bad. What? Right. The Malort is not that bad. <laughs> Ugh. I'd rather mm-hmm. have that than that. It's not empty. <laughs> Amanda <laughs> says, Fago or Malort? Malort, please. All day long. No. Is that where you're going, Bubby? You going Malort over Fago? Yes. Well, this. This flavor. Yeah. Get you a, like Malort grape, with a glizzy straw. With a <laughs> glizzy well, straw. We haven't mixed the two yet. That's a, that's a hot dog straw for you folks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not, learning these things. I'm not letting you know. <laughs> if Tyler hands me that bottle, I might mix. All right. Here we go. Uh, my wife and her friends did. We're running low. I'm not going to have to. You want to know the, <laughs> the to worst swear. part about this? I'm going to have to buy another bottle of that bullshit. <laughs> mm-hmm. yep. Just that for our guests to try. Yeah, no, that's exactly it. Um, yeah, my wife had uh, some friend, some new people on the podcast with her, and they all did Malort shots. Come, don't be scared, Bubby. Fill that thing up. <laughs> no, I'm going to mix. I want yeah, half, but you half and half. Half and it's half. It's technically <laughs> mixed with a drop. Like, <laughs> all right, fine. Let's do it. Oh God! Why? <laughs> Why do we? Life is ourselves? bad decisions. Mm-hmm. Life is bad decisions. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You might as well. You want to mix it? 
Sure, why not? No, that's I've, you got I've, a half I've and half it. this. Yeah, we, I've had it on its own. Cotton so. candy, you have it. Oh, good God. That well, wasn't we, a mix. You son of a bitch. <laughs> top, hey, Bubby, top him off a little bit. Give him a little more. Why would you do that? I thought, I thought we were yeah. sitting by the pool. I thought we were... We're having mixed drinks, yeah. and then here comes Tyler. Yeah. Yours is not what... Yeah, yours is... Well, I guess they're all kind of just now clear. Somehow the Fago and the Malort uh-huh. cancel each other out. It's, this is like pee. Yeah. Amanda, are you out on this, I'm assuming? I, I would have to drink I wouldn't, blue stuff. I wouldn't ask you this to do it. This is Mr. Hyde serum. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. This it got is, rid of Thor's cough, though. It did get rid of my cough. It 100% did. it did get mm-hmm. it. Did, it says medicinal in there, not lying. <laughs> all right, Bubby, you started the right. shenanigans. You finished the shenanigans. I will. It's, it smells sweeter already. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to be better. Does it? No. He says. No, God. God, no. All right, here we go. God. No, that's not. Uh, oh, geez. Oh, that, that, that didn't help at all. That, uh, that made it worse somehow. Oh, I think it's aged uh, oh, it's a lot. Like, it like thickened it up. It's <laughs> drinking vomit. Ta- oh. Tyler, you're not going along with us on this oh, one? Oh, God. You didn't want to join this party? Oh, God. I know, right? God. Just you don't have to do a ton of it. Just you know, the oh, top. Of, what top. Do they say? Fuck fighter, hold the flashlight. Let's go. Oh, oh Amanda's <laughs> in. Amanda's in. Oh God, it's the aftertaste. Oh. It's the burnt rubber aftertaste it just that it hangs with you. Oh, God. <sighs> hey, uh, by the way, my lord, if you're out there listening, once again, uh, feel free to write to it's all fish and chips at gmail dot com. Uh, we'd love to have you as a sponsor of this show if you don't oh, mind God. us. Uh, with this reaction. I've never had to talk myself up. <laughs> to like... See, that's the problem is you know it's coming now, and so you gotta like... That's gross. Yeah. The combo is not good. No, it made it worse shot, somehow. Shot, shot, <laughs> shot, 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 no. shot. It's just... No, he's gonna he's gonna spit it back oh, in the cup. No, nope. Yeah. It's going it's, back in the cup. It's gotta go... Uh, oh. Can he get it? Oh, this is... It, he is struggling. He shouldn't have stopped. It should have just gone straight down. Yeah, why did you savor that? <laughs> why? Unless you wanted to wear it. <laughs> I still got a half a thing of this. Yeah, uh, uh, Ziggy Saki. We need a twenty dollar sponsorship or uh, something. Where's this? I I don't like the I don't think I don't like this shenanigans, but it's gonna at least <laughs> hopefully <laughs> got to, Oh god damn it. Oh god. And you're welcome. Love no you why? My delicious Oh, Lord. that did cut, that made it better. <laughs> the cotton candy, <laughs> the cotton candy did kind of like <laughs> it negates <laughs> the it negates the, the, the yeah. Tyler's like I need a little more. Oh, yeah, so Corey's these. club is still full. Yeah, I can't. I've, well, I well, no, oh, I, no, no. He's saying take some of him shot. Take just the <laughs> oh, okay. just thank to you. Get that yeah. out of your mouth, Ch- chaser. You can throw the rest of that away, Corey. You don't have to drink that. Oh yeah, that terrible. Uh, definitely, at least it calms okay. the yeah. It does. Fago does seem to to uh, mm-hmm. the power of ICP. Uh, That's so gross. Is is uh, so uh, does fight the uh, the yeah. malort? I didn't even drink that. The acidity he had, that's you through. Like filled yeah. it to the top. Yeah. No. Tyler. Tyler did him wrong. Over I there. did. I kind of screwed him a little bit. Ugh. Okay. W- welcome to the malort podcast. <laughs> Ugh. It's still thing. terrible. Um. But I'm somehow, gonna. But somehow we're still going to buy more. Right? Yeah, no, <laughs> Malort. Yeah, I'm gonna buy another bottle. I don't think the Malort was the mistake in that. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda says the Fago was the problem mm-hmm. there. Um, so probably not wrong. Uh, across the street from our work, mm-hmm. just the other day, Tyler, I'm hoping oh, oh, you saw it. it. Saw it. Parked parked across by the window tint in place that's by our work was a bright orange. And you had to do that special, and yeah, it's that's not a, like that's a, a good wrap or something. But it's not like a good wrap because you can see like all no. the where the colors are all like faded and stuff. Mm. It's a mm-hmm. bright orange, um, uh, Tesla truck, yeah, cyber truck, yeah. Not the color they were intended to be. Not the color they were intended to be, but also it kind of looks like he just spray painted that. It's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is cheaper. I mean, you're on Stainless a steel. You bought a cyber truck. Well, you ain't got money left over. Yeah. yeah. What, what color? Like they're intended to be the like color of shiny silver. Yeah. Well, no. I think it's like silver. the blood of your enemies. Is, oh. <laughs> was his initial thought, oh, right? right? Right. But that's a hard color to match. Like if you scratch <laughs> no, that, true. you're gonna have trouble. That's true. You gotta. You're gonna you get have trouble paint. getting that touched up. Yeah. You yeah. get a paint pin for that. I expect right to see a zero one on the side of that, like a 
Like the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah did you look at the roof to see if there were yeah. stars yeah, they had a, and bars up there? Yeah. Looks like them Duke boys is in a heap of trouble. They <laughs> bought a cyber truck and it's <laughs> broke down. <laughs> Done so, caught fire. Oh, got the got the gas pedal stuck and they can't stop. They're just <laughs> driving the around the block at 100 miles an hour. Um, Tyler. Yep. Would you buy a, a cyber truck? No. Okay. Okay. Are you, like would I own a cyber truck? Or okay. Let's say a, you could get one half off. Like they somebody somebody got one instant regret. It's got five thousand miles on it. And he's just tr- trying to unload it. No. Okay. Not even half off. No. Okay. I just there's no functionality to in my opinion. Oh no. Or what I would do there's no functionality. To no. It. You're gonna get it's gonna get stuck in and the first it, dirt you go in. Let's say I was in the market. I looked them up. Let's say roughly they're around hundred grand, right? <laughs> Give or take. So pricey. Wow. But if I wanted to spend a hundred grand on a truck or on a vehicle, mm-hmm. that is not the first the first vehicle I'm picking okay. for me. What's the first vehicle you're pissing for? I would just get a nice new truck, like an actual oh, okay. pickup like mine. Now, I did see a video where one of these cyber trucks was actually racing Camaro from... from uh, Dead Start. Dead Start, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, it won. It's an electric. They, yeah, but over a distance, they ain't gonna, it ain't going to hold up. No, but, no. Camaro... But off the got, line. But off the line, really yeah. It's a, any electric vehicle is going to beat you off the line because that thing doesn't have... It. There's no there's no ramp up. That's a yeah. linear... It's a right. linear... Curve. Speed increase, yeah. Straight up to, to 60. Straight up to 100. Yeah. I still like the the news article that has the Tesla truck pulling uh, what a GE like jet engine or whatever. And it was back ah. to 72 when a 1500 hour pickup was pulling a 737. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> well, did you see the one where they were like trying to pull like a uh, F- F-250 F out of the mud and it just ripped the back bumper off that damn cyber truck. <laughs> just blah, there it goes, just laying in the dirt. So, yeah, no, uh, I, don't, I don't think truck is necessarily the word. Maybe cyber vehicle would be more appropriate. C- cyber Aztec. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. It kind of looks like the Aztec. I didn't realize they were that expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're pricey. I, think I looked I mean, them up. They range like 72 to like 125 ish. See, as a, as a school teacher, like if I'm getting a vehicle for 125, it better uh-huh. go into space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Like, space. That's, yeah. what, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Like a hundred that like I, I I don't even know what car I would I don't even know what car that costs a hundred thousand no. dollars. No. That's where I live. That's I my world. One or two, but I couldn't think of like a line of cars. Like if I'm you know, yeah. here's the ones you're looking at. Now. Like I wouldn't know where to go buy a car that costs that <laughs> no. much. Right, right. Yeah. Rewind to talking about the uh, kitty pool with ice in it. Yeah, yeah. Cool exactly. Off. Yeah, and then tell me again about the hundred and twenty thousand dollar Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Does reliable uh, used cars have that in stock? Because that's the only way. <laughs> but yeah. am I wrong or I see a fair bit of them for being that price like I've, I see I've seen probably about four or five around. here in town yeah. I would guess I feel like every one of them wanted to be the first yeah that's oh, I'm I sure like that and that stupid new Bronco both of them again pricey yeah, again very pricey for what it and it, it's a terrible looking car yeah, there's no. a lot of both of those yeah on my side of town no. have you seen the pictures online of people coming out if they're poor enough to leave their cyber truck outside coming out uh-huh. and seeing raccoons or like <laughs> raccoon prints all over like they're trying nice. to get into it like oh, a dumpster yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like hey there's gotta be something good in here right. everything this shape has got delicious snacks in it nope <laughs> just a cyber truck all it's got in it is uh chaw and just some, like <laughs> chaw and, uh, and like a half drunk mm-hmm. paps blue ribbon in there that's about all that's in there poor raccoons yeah got it <laughs> maybe it's carrying a coffin Maybe it's carrying a coffin. <laughs> Bubby's trying to do a segue there, Tyler. <laughs> right? So I'm just going to... He's been very slick. quiet, just sitting over there preparing for that. That was slick, Bubby. I really... Yeah, way, way to just tie that in with the discussion, <laughs> yeah, Bubby. You guys have a team of writers here. He yeah, just comes up with that. But this is They're Bubby Jewish. just off the cuff. <laughs> oh. About to uh, cut that other name. So I was looking just through Facebook Marketplace. You know, I think we all do from time to time. You just scroll okay. to Never. see what's we, there. We do not. And uh, this guy for $500 has a coffin for sale in great shape. Uh, for Halloween decor or question mark, question mark? says three question marks. It's not one now, question mark. It's question mark, question mark, question. Mark. Now, if you go down to the description, it came with the hearse that he bought and he doesn't need <laughs> it. Now, <laughs> has he opened it? Do you think to make sure that there's nobody no. riding along in that, uh, that particular that casket? I don't know that I would. I, I think you have to. No, yeah. I think you, it's illegal not to. Yeah. Firm, by the way, no trades. <laughs> He's not going to take any <laughs> trades. Cash and only. Cash only cash 500 only. bucks. Firm, no trades, body included. No, it does not say that. <laughs> it does not say body. But it does say hidden information. <laughs> and it's just, the picture isn't like, you know, in a showroom or something like that. No, it is sitting next to yard. gravel in in the grass. In this, oh. I got a coffin in the side yard. Also, like, take it's local. At it. You do know it. What's the model yeah, number? Yeah, it's Republic. What's the, what's the year? How many miles that got? Is there cereal on that? 
and I and I'm assuming it's plastic that's hanging out of it, and not like the <laughs> lining that's hanging out of it. No, I to indicate like that it's probably uh, still newish. Yeah, it looks like yeah. I think Amanda, you're right. Bone. What's it gonna Maybe. take for me to get you in a slightly used coffin today? A knife, a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred bucks is a steal. Yeah, uh, it's all. I got I, no use for no coffin. Again, I can go to Costco and just buy a coffin if I need yeah. one. They got them. For 500 bucks, though? I bet you. But so, let me look up how much a Costco coffin costs me. They got them. <laughs> you can just order my, You can have them delivered, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. You know, plan ahead. Speaking of... Woman. <laughs> speaking woman, of, I'm going to order your coffin right now. Yeah, I don't think you could take that, right? And, and, and be like, hey, use this one. I had one in the garage. <laughs> I have, you know what yeah. I already got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been saving up. So I'm going to let Corey speak into this one. But talking of things that are listed for sale... Um, uh-huh. He and I and my brother were coming back from our previous job you know, mm-hmm. in, yep, Bran- yep. in Branson. Yep. And uh, we found a, a listing for for a, a, an item. I'll let Corey kind of talk about. It was really the description of the item. Yeah, well, it was a it was an emu. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, it was an emu for sale. Uh-huh. Um, and it, it had a long description. You know what? Like uh, what you could use it for, and emus are good. And did they give whatever. me a hair like a, a heritage like this bred from purebred oh, emus? Yeah. yeah, it had it had all of it. Um, and this emu uh, was living in uh, in Reed Spring. Yep. Um, and uh, it had sort of a list of stats where it was like height and weight and whatever. Uh-huh. And then it said temperament, <laughs> nice enough. Nice <laughs> enough. I mean. For an emu. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I ain't going to say it's nice, but it probably won't peck you straight in the eye. Right. So we were going through all these scenarios. Of, what does that exactly mean? And, and and when you're making this art, like who's like, oh, I better include the temperament. Right. Like, nobody will come if I don't have the temperament on Right. There. No. Yeah. Well, is that, I would wonder why are they getting rid of this one? Yeah. Like, wh- what's wrong is this an angry that? emu? Yeah. Is that what's going on? Like, am I getting saddled with a with a disturbed <laughs> emu? Are you getting out of the emu business completely? Yeah. Or is this like a serial killer emu? Right. And I just need, I, they're not going to tell me. But if that's your yeah. motivation, don't you want to say, you know, it's a good emu or nice? Yeah. You don't want to say nice enough if you know that's the suspicion. But here's the deal. They're going to come back if, if you get that emu and that emu is just like kind of a dick, but not a full dick. You're like... Well, he told me nice enough. That's I mean, he did say it. Well, he didn't, I think, think it's pretty me. well known that they're not the nicest. So no. you're just like, this one's yeah. great. <laughs> nice <laughs> enough for an good, emu. Good yeah, line. it's not like yeah. friendliest emu you ever done saw, but it's not like, you know, killer emu either. Sure. So. sure. So. I, I, how many people you think that got, like, in the heyday, like when it was hot, got into emus? Still in the emu business, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what window are we talking about here. I didn't realize there was a <laughs> like, like like a late, like a spike in emu. Like <laughs> middle, early to middle '90s, I want to say was when like everyone was like, "I'm gonna get into emu farming, get them farm that meat, no, that's get the eggs." Yeah. And how many people you think uh, llamas and and alpacas? Same thing. Like yeah. people got hard hard into those for like a hot minute. Yeah. And then how many people you think Less are just saddled half. with those animals? Less now? than half. Oh, I can't. I'm thinking you are very optimistic at less. Well, I think than I think you just got to figure. You know what's the lifespan of an emu? Because right. you're oh. you're hung with it, and you're like, we're not breeding this anymore. You know it what? dies no. in eight oh. years. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. You but if they live like 25 years, yeah, you yeah, you got Speaking a that, roommate. The question that we had: What's the gestation period of an emu? You think? Well, I'm going with the lifespan here: a uh, 10 to 20 years in the oh. wild. Oh. 35 years in captivity. Oh, my God. Yeah, so they're, <laughs> they're hung with them. They, they're, yeah, they're, you yeah. get an emu, you yeah. uh, you got yeah. an emu. Right, you, got, yeah. you got an emu in the mid-90s. Yeah. You got we can 10 probably, years left. We can yeah. find that same emu. That yeah, he's, he's probably like, hanging yeah. around. <laughs> he's out Wanted there. Wanted one emu, good enough temperament. <laughs> Put that on Facebook Marketplace. I get. I bet you get fifty calls with dudes with emus just, just trying to unload them. Was a response from Reed Spring. Weird. Weird. That's, <laughs> hey, I recognize this emu. He looks very familiar. Settled down in his old age. <laughs> it's fairly pot nice. belly pigs is another one. Remember when people were oh, all yeah. about the mm-hmm. pot belly pigs? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Now I bet you all those just got it though. Yeah. Right. Well, it's just. You know, Bang. luau's and what have you. Luau's. Can you eat a llama? Do you think people eat oh, llamas? You, can you can you eat a llama? Yes, Whatever. you could definitely eat a llama. Should you eat a llama? That's a different question. I don't know the answer to. I, just, I don't know that I've ever seen llama meat. I think uh, <laughs> I, get, I know, it anywhere. Can I get three you know? pounds yeah. of ground llama. Yeah, llamas are kind of dicks. They're like, oh, yeah. they're the spitty, angry yeah. ones. Yeah, packas are the ones you like because they're they're like nice. They make your socks. Yeah. They make your yeah. socks, and yeah. you know, good for them. Yeah. I could, I could, I could, I could be down with a paca. I don't think I'm down with no llama though. Mm-hmm. My sister got spit, I think, by, on on by a llama once. <laughs> I like the zoo. 
Huh? They set the course for the whole rest of her life. I don't know. They're not. It's not acidy spit like aliens, <laughs> Bubby. <laughs> it's like green. I think it's just regular <laughs> spit. Just asking. I'm, I've never. I don't know. You never been spit on by a llama? No, I was asking. Yeah. You ever been to the, the drive-through zoo there, Bubby? You yeah. go to the drive-through no. zoo? No. Camel. Oh, you got to go. How? How have you not taken Parker? How have we not taken Parker uh-huh. at this point? Through that drive-through animal safari, oh, where yeah. the animals just yeah. stick their heads right in the car. Yeah, I don't know. Cause that'll be fun on a bun right there. <laughs> Do it in my Jeep with no doors. Yep. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. We're no uh-huh. escaping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I took the uh, Geo right. Tracker that I owned through that uh, drive-through zoo once, and uh, we got we go through one of the gates, and all the yaks are standing on like the other side of the gate, waiting for you to come through to get fed. That's still going, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> At, it, did, it did the other day um, and they're all just standing there and so I kind of slowed down to feed them and one of those yaks just came over and put his head against the, the freaking tracker and started pushing it over oh and, I'm like, no, 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 no. and I just started driving away I'm like nope sir he's like I know how to get that food watch mm-hmm. this I'll watch get that this. food I'll right now you. flip that some bitch right over mm-hmm. so uh, I like a good drive through so you, you've I taken do enjoy the kids a good, oh yeah 100% tons, tons of time the kids, yeah. tons they're, they're exciting because no matter what rules are kind of at the front when you go through oh there's yeah. no rules in there no. No, the animals don't know any rules no. stand, stand <laughs> yeah. up lions is, all, is really the yeah. only rule like don't yeah. get in there with them lions yeah. but other than that you're good to go yeah. just whatever <laughs> If you like deer, because it's just, oh, there's all. I got 50 types of deer. Mm-hmm. Like this, this deer is from South Asia. Oh, it looks like a deer. <laughs> yeah. This, this deer is from, uh, you know, Mongolia. And you're like, oh, Ooh, that's, that's another deer. That's a deer. <laughs> How interesting. There's, they got a lot of deer and like two giraffes yeah. mm-hmm. and like one elephant. <laughs> well, and those animals that are at the front, you know, they're getting all the, the food. But oh, yeah, the ones yeah. at the end are just like, yeah, they're yeah. the ones that'll knock your car over. Right. Cause <laughs> they're like, how did you get this far in right. here? Where's my food? <laughs> they need to have a little little spot you can stop and just fill up on more food. You should, right? That'd be nice. So then poor animals. Yeah, because I, I haven't paid enough up to that point. So. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Get you again. Double yeah, dip you. All right. They got, a, they got a dude and just an ATV out there just selling more. Yeah, and they put that shit in like a Minions cup or something. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, you're like, oh, God. Now you got to take that home, too. And I was in your cabinet forever right yeah, there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. How many Minions oh. cup you got in your Oh, room? I got a ton. I have a cup from Lambert's because we went there oh. and took our kids one time. Did they just steal it? And no. Okay. But you know how they give you the actual, like, <laughs> Yeah, the big thermal yeah. mug. And my kids are like, hey, I want one of those. So I asked the guy, I was like, hey, are these for sale? He goes, yeah, we got them for sale up front. And my kid's like, no, I want this one. <laughs> I was like, a thousand people have drank out of that cup. And we bought that cup. I went home. I put it up in the cabinet right there. And it uh-huh. where it has lived ever since. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody wants it. I like that lamb. It's too big like yeah. for mm-hmm. the cabinet, but yeah. it holds a lot. Yeah. Of but he wanted that, that used ass cup. Was it like one of the camo ones? <laughs> no, it was just a regular like tan okay. colored Lambert's cup that's been there since 98. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. World record of the most people drank out of this cup right. ever, and your boy's like, "This the one it. for me." Yep. And then he ain't I, never drank out of it since. And I paid money for that thing. Mm-hmm. You should make him drink out of it tonight when you get home. I will. Yeah. Go find it. Yeah, get it out of the cabinet. And go, boy. You made me buy this thing. Here, <laughs> if just fill it all the way to the top too. Is so much liquid. Here's some mm-hmm. malort, he'll, kid. Get on. He'll get up seven times in the middle of the night. The bad thing is it won't fit in a dishwasher, so you got to hand wash it. Yeah. Oh. It'll be worth it. You know what? You know what? You know what gets thrown away immediately in my house. Any any type of dish that does not go in the dishwasher. Yes. Yeah. That yes. just oops, that got broken. Oop, I don't know what happened mm-hmm. to that thing. It's gone. Yep. <laughs> McAllister, I'm looking right you at you thinking? and you're why are you pulling on my microphone? <sighs> <sighs> Toddler. <laughs> Parker, yeah. Parker Sorry, I interrupted tired. the podcast. I was mm-hmm. twirling the mic cord. Um as I was saying, the McAllister. Did you ever get one of those McAllister's teacups for like the the tea pass? No, tea I didn't. Teacup. Not a, not a teacup, but a cup, a big <laughs> cup for tea. <laughs> teacup. Um, no, I did not. Uh, they have the they got these plastic ones. So instead of getting the tea pads where you get a free tea every day, you get this mug and you could fill it up for a dollar. Mm-hmm. But you can't wash that mug because if you put it in the dishwasher, it just bubbles up and destroys itself. <laughs> and you, then you can't get the lid on it anymore. And that's exactly what happened to me. And then I threw that thing away. Oh, that was like twenty dollars. They got that. you. They got me. They when I was in, uh, when I, my, my freshman year of college, the popular water bottle was the Nalgene's. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. they didn't go in the dishwasher. They were like indestructible. You can run them over with a mm-hmm. semi truck, mm-hmm. but don't put them in the dishwasher. Yeah. So yeah. just burst but, into but flames. But you see all these like 19 year old kids walking around with that Nalgene, and you're like, that hasn't been cleaned. Yeah. What's nope. it called? Ever. I still have I've mine. never heard of it. Nalgene? Really? Nalgene? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was they a big thing. Like, it was Nal- like Nalgene was like before Yeti and all that mm-hmm. kind of I am surprised we did not throw one of those away when we cleaned it. They were like a hiker's. They're like the screw on clear water. 
water bottle type. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get mine. you a carabiner and clip it yeah. to your backpack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's Tyler. Which yeah. is really funny because I saw a video yesterday of them throwing one like, I think, a thousand feet off a cliff that? and it didn't break. Did you ever clean yours? No. Don't, you no. Don't, you don't I cleaned mine all the time. They, they sold little sold tablets it. for it. Do you remember? They sold yeah. a little like cleaning tablet. Like they, seltzer. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So like nobody's cleaning this thing. Yeah, no, this I'm thing not. is yeah. green on the inside, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's flavor. Mm. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they got those flavor with the circle water bottles now. You just put the flavor mm. in. You didn't need that back in the day. No. You just didn't wash your mug. And then yeah. flavor. <laughs> it just came out. It was all natural. Seasoning. Yeah. Seasoning. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's like them... Uh, them uh, um, some stone, uh, like bakeware that you get, mm-hmm. you know, pampered chef. Yep. That's what I was trying to think of. Mm-hmm. Yep, stoneware. You don't, those things seasoned. Yeah. Like, uh, and the skillet. What's a, a cast iron cast skillet? Iron. Yeah, you yeah. wash that, you ruin I, the seasoning. Let me tell you what's never going to make it into my house and get used. The cast iron skillet. <laughs> it's cast iron skillet. <laughs> you want to talk about a thing my wife is not interested in? Oh, Here, the best. I got this. You can't wash it, though. <laughs> what the? Yeah. That in the- <laughs> just find it in the front yard. That's, she's going to open the front door and whip it out there. She's use it on you. <laughs> yeah, she's probably going to use it on me. Is exactly right, Bobby. It's the uh, best use. Right? All right. I posted this one. I had been going through my old pictures, mm-hmm. and I found this one, and I had meant to talk about it a long time ago, but I forgot. Watergate salad. Have you ever heard of the Watergate salad? No, I have not. Okay, this is at the Hy-Vee store. Okay. okay. Let me let me read to you the ingredients of the Watergate salad. Okay. Pistachio pudding. Starting strong right sure. off the bat. All right. Folded into whipped topping. Hmm. With diced marsh, uh, diced pineapples, and marshmallows added, and they're like colored like tricks marshmallows. Mm-hmm. That is the Watergate salad. Mm. I, would, I would eat that. I understand now why Nixon um, <laughs> broke into that place. It was hopefully <laughs> to destroy the recipe for yeah, this I, I expected, particular salad. I expected a Cuban flair right. to the Watergate salad. No, I would eat that. I don't like nothing pistachio. Oh, I love pistachio. Do you like ice cream and stuff? Oh yeah, it's pistachio. Really like pistachio I'll eat like pudding. Yeah. I'll eat pistachios. Like I, I like a pistachio. Mm-hmm. My dad used to love pistachios. Yeah, and this is back when they used to dye them red. I don't know if you knew this or not. But no, they used I, to dye all the pistachios in the shell red. The shells they would dye red. I would get in on the uh, inside part too. But so you try to like you got to <laughs> eventually get it. Yeah, so you got to break them all open. You know how pistachios work, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so he'd have this like red fingers and red around his mouth because he did a whole bag of those things at the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they quit doing that because that was probably like that cancer causing red dye number five right. or whatever. Red it was. 40 you think pistachios are really as healthy as like all so. the marketing is? I, I gotta like, imagine healthy nuts. Nut. They're nuts. Yeah. Nut. But I think if you get the bag with a like the shelled ones, they're not nearly as good as the unshell or, or the the unshelled ones aren't as good as the shelled ones because you're gonna spend a lot of energy just trying to get that one little nut out of there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's got to be negative <laughs> it's calories. A, it's a calorie burning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you just constantly. Pistachio. There's always that one that's like sealed shut, yeah. like freaking King Tut's tomb, and you gotta freaking <laughs> break a seal and you get a curse if you open the damn thing. I know. I keep putting my phone close to it. That's what's making it buzz. Bubby's looking over at me. What are you looking at? Are oh, you looking at the pistachio? You gonna eat that, Bubby? He's just shopping. It's eleven dollars pound. So. It's eleven dollars yeah. pound. It matter if I bought you three pounds of it, would you eat it? <laughs> Not three pounds. Not all of it. I Tyler and I played this game once, but it was with fudge. I would. Oh, I would yeah, eat. No. I would eat some. I'm we sure. went someplace and it was like you could get like, like two pounds of fudge for like six bucks. I said I'll buy you two pounds of fudge, but you got to eat it all. I hate fudge to start. <laughs> <laughs> and no, that didn't happen. Uh, how much? Uh, how much fudge do you think you need, Bubby? How much what? you got? Not as much as you got. <laughs> <laughs> that was bigger right. than what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. That's a fair enough. That's a fair enough answer right there. You kidding. like you big fudge fan there, buddy? <laughs> you go to uh, Uranus and get the fudge from <laughs> there at the popular yeah. factory they have. Never stop there. I love that place. That place is the best place in in Missouri, as far as I'm concerned. It's hilarious because the signs you just they keep got, seeing. They got their own thing going on. One hundred percent. You know they're making. Yeah. A lot. And not to mention, it pisses off everybody around there, I think. Oh, it's got to. <laughs> they absolutely hate that. And that guy probably just relishes in the fact oh, that he's just, just living in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you see those signs for like miles and miles. Oh, yeah. You're like, hey, don't, don't forget to stop by the fudge factory in Uranus. And you're like, ah. <laughs> and it's stupid and it's dumb, but it's still funny. One time there was a band in Uranus. <laughs> Did you go see it? Yeah. No, I didn't look in there. I was scared. <laughs> Good acoustics, though. <laughs> Good acoustics. Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to put up fabric or nothing in there. You got to pay for reverb or nothing. No, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Uh, How old are we? Exactly. Uh, 
Corey, what you been up to? Huh? You got anything fun going on? Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I've been off for the summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that? What is that? As a teacher, well, what is that? Really I guess like? I, I was teaching a class at Missouri State, so I wasn't completely. Oh, off. fancy professor man over mm, here. Yeah. Um, what's your, what's class you teaching at Missouri? Pretty State? big wheel at the cheese factory. Uh, I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I was teaching a uh, a graduate cohorted elective course so it's this is complicated yeah it's like ed- educational philosophy would be the easy way to say it Ooh. for like a for graduate students okay yeah no yeah. tyler Thank tyler you. you're yeah. in on this you need you need I all this education i'm sorry no. No, i'm just kidding yeah uh how, how'd that go for you uh it went it went really well everyone interested in your in your teachings uh, your no there well, it, it was it was part in person and part on zoom okay and there was one woman on the zoom who I, I'm certain never read any of the readings. So just hanging out. Yeah, she never spoke in a class when I'd call on her. She'd go, she'd she'd look up and then look around and then go off screen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, well, okay. You, now, are you sure she was actually enrolled in your class? <laughs> oh yeah, she was. Or enrolled. had she just she wandered into she the didn't Zoom? Turn in any of the writings? She didn't. Yeah. So yeah. My question is, yeah, was she? Did she accidentally just somebody <laughs> send her the link by mistake? And she's like, sure, I'll join <laughs> she, that. She paid the money for the class, so. All right. Well, and it was the got, last one she needed to graduate. She, she, is she going to pass? Well, I, uh, I, I didn't teach her other classes, so there, there's like a review that she gets now. So oh, my okay. stuff will be added to the review, I whether see. or not she. This is over the complicated. Yeah. So you may have said this. Who did, did you teach it with? Somebody else that you work with, or was this a different teacher from like another area? Yeah. So I taught it with another professor at Missouri State. He and I both teach separate cohorts. And then this summer, it was like a merge for everybody's classes okay. to be together. So it's someone that you've Cohort. worked with before or someone that you knew. Yeah. That's cool. no. I think it'd be difficult to step in to do that with someone that you've never worked with. You don't know their teaching style or don't know, like if you, if it were a new thing. Yeah. It, well, he's also, you know, uh, 60 and has mm-hmm. lived his whole life in, you know, higher education, teaching college. Can't do and, teach. Right. And, and yeah, and I haven't done that. Yeah. So our, yeah, we, we have very different. I can uh, imagine perspectives. He's a, a pro. He's a professor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. professional professor. Yeah, I I have a lot more profanity in my teaching. Uh, well, you know what? Mm-hmm. Sometimes that's what you need. Yeah, get the kids' attention. Yeah. Right. What, what's, what did you say? He, wait a minute. Did you say he uses more profanity? No, I do. I oh. do. He's, yeah. He's like this higher education professor. <laughs> now, if you opened a book from page one away, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like, the fuck is this about? He does. He, after <laughs> I have, slips a bunch of F-bombs. after I have said, you know, hey, I think this passage is shit or whatever, he does like that on and go, yes. That passage is shit. Is this class yeah. over? Yeah, it just oh, finished. So say, can I sit yeah. in for yeah. one day? <laughs> right. I, see this. I just want to see the lady leave when you ask her a question. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, slowly back away. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Just, just, <laughs> just a test pattern comes up. Yeah. It's, uh, it's. I mean, everyone's sick of hearing <laughs> yeah. it, but that, uh, that post-COVID world with all the online in uh-huh. yeah. education, it's. And it's real deal, like the, the ability to check out and still be like, but I still get the grade, right? That's right. Still, yeah. See, My uh, yeah. wife did a lot of online when she was getting her degree mm-hmm. just because, you know, she was working full time. So yeah. most of her classes were in the evening and she would do online stuff and... <laughs> No, I yeah. couldn't do it. No, I would no. you just all you would see is just me tip forward, like <laughs> face against the camera. It would just be like a little, little bit of my nose and the the, the you know between my eyes. That's all you'd see. Yeah. and then <laughs> snoring, just loud snoring. See, the kids can't do what I did in college. Like I know when you guys were in college, well, they don't. Too. That's illegal now. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, that's true. No. It is illegal. They don't even make um, some of that anymore. So they have online classes now. You can do the whole thing online. Well, we were in college and stuff. That really wasn't a thing. No, you had night like classes, email yeah. and things like that. You could trans, but it wasn't like classes. Mm-hmm. And one of my biggest wins in college was so that's when the USB drives first started coming mm-hmm. out. Was I went to my I had two or three classes that day, and I went to my last class, and I was supposed to turn in like a three or four or five page paper, and I didn't have it. And I told the professor, I was like, oh, I was like, I got two more classes. I said, it's at home on my thumb drive. I just left it on my thing. Can I go home and just return it to you when I, when I get back home? She's like, oh, that's fine. Just turn it in whenever you get home. So I didn't have any more classes. And <laughs> so I went straight home, wrote that mm-hmm. paper in the entirety after it was due and sent it in and still got an A on it. Yeah, yeah. that, that, that excuse doesn't you, fly anymore. No, you no. cannot do that anymore. No. Well, they, now they'll just they'll chat yeah. GPT. It yeah. And, yeah, right. and well, then I'll true. read something and be like, you never sounded it's still, like this. It's it, it it still got the basis. prompt but, in it. Yeah. Like, okay. You can't buckle your own belt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. 
That's a that's a regular occurrence. Yeah. Is sure. it now? Oh but, yeah. But see the funny thing. I'm is, assuming the high the high school kids or the college. Yeah, the high the high the, well the co- when I teach the undergrad courses they they will try and squeeze by any way they can. And right. So you yeah you have to ask questions that you kind of you know is their opinion. Yeah. Or how do you think this person would say whatever? Yeah. Right. Okay. I was yeah. going to ask like so can you I mean you can tell when someone's used Chat GPT or yeah most of the time is there any way to like, can you do anything about it? Can you prove it? Or like, there's a couple of tools out there that will like search and and they can find I don't know traces in like, the document. Like yeah, but if you've copy and pasted, there's kind of nothing anyone can do. Right. So you can go. I know yeah. you cheated, but yeah, same way everyone else used to do. But you used to, you used to have a yeah. smart friend. And yeah. You yeah. Just copy. But it. it's so funny. Yeah. Every decade has their own thing. Like we had yeah. the cliff. You know, the books you could buy. Cliff notes. Yeah. Cliff notes. Now they got chat. Well, oh, they've got a, uh, a a math app that you just take a picture of the problem and it'll show all the work and everything. And you that's just... how my wife graduated from yeah. um, her astro- astronomy yeah. class that I may or may not have taken yeah. for her. Yeah. There you go. But like we're asking bad questions though, if yeah. that's you know. So I I I took that astronomy class. Mm-hmm. I think that the statute of limitations is probably fine here <laughs> at this point. Um, and I really enjoyed the astronomy part. Mm-hmm. I really hated the math part. Mm-hmm. Like, and they wanted you to like tell you how far this plant, this sun was away from you based on the red shift. And they gave, and I'm like, no. And then my iPad, I had that exact thing, and I would just click. Yep. And then it would put up there, and I or or you could write it in yourself if you couldn't get it to click it right. And that thing saved my life because there yeah. was zero chance I was doing any of that math. If if you walked into a high school class, you would you would probably all be like, wow, this is pretty different, except math. Looks exactly the same. Yeah. So the ability to exploit it with technology is just off, yeah. off the charts. Yeah. They well, they need to. And now, like Microsoft 365, can do all of your work for you as an mm. adult. Right. So like mm-hmm. it's just. No. Wait, wait, might wait, as well wait, wait, learn wait, wait, it while wait. you're in school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not probably not your work. Uh-huh. But I will tell I will tell you that the uh, the uh, employee reviews that I'm having to do right now. Uh, I just asked Chat GBG to give me um, uh, like ten things on each of these topics <laughs> that I could put into an employee review, You're both good hero. and bad, mm-hmm. and I just copy and paste that shit over because mm-hmm. if you weren't married, so, so many of times I have to fill yep. out. Yep. And, that, and if you hear this, people at work, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> you should know it by now. I've been doing it the last three times we did this. I hate employee reviews. I hate. Them. They know exactly where they stand. They don't. They don't need me to write it down on a piece of paper. I tell them daily. You know what? You do, you ought to print up pictures of each of them and put a chart on your wall and just move them up and down that chart. <laughs> we used like to have uh, their names on little magnetic pieces, uh, mm-hmm. little magnetic things we could stick to the board, mm-hmm. and then they were ranked for a while. That yeah, way. no, that's good. Um. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. But summer, like you got, yeah. you got the one class you're teaching. Yeah, and then usually you spend a lot of time, whatever, building Drinking. all your cur- well, yeah, but building your curriculum and stuff for the next year. Uh huh. You don't then, just copy over the last years. No, no, it doesn't doesn't work. Well, I mean, bad teachers do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you, bad teachers get about three months off where yeah. they just sit and do nothing. Um, Allison, if you're out there listening, we know it's you. <laughs> she's not. Ouch. She's mm, and she's no, not. I know she ain't listening to this. I know 100. <laughs> she might listen to my wife, but she ain't listening yeah. to this one. No. She's curled up in a blanket watching Hallmark. Mm-hmm. Or I know yep, that's doing. probably right. No. So then you just work on the curriculum for the year upcoming. Yeah, and then you go because you know being a theater teacher, I go in and clean up the shop, you know, replace saw blades, do all the sort of upkeep that gotcha, has gotcha. to be done. But yeah, but no, if you like, there are like PE coaches. I was going to say, say PE, dude. Who, who like, teach, who teach walking fitness all day long. Oh, that's a good, that's a good, yeah. that's a good, that's a scam right there. Yeah. Yeah. Get in on that scam all day long. You, yeah. Kind of psychology yeah. here. And then they get a stipend to be like, you know, wide receiver coach or right. whatever. Some, you Which know, is the thing they probably actually want. Right. Do. Yeah. Yeah, and then they get their three months off, and uh, uh-huh. yeah, and really, I would say they get a whole year off teaching walking fitness, right, all day long. <laughs> I think we, you got your yeah. whole career off. Sounds yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, and you uh, you get that pension when you retire. Yeah, so that's, I mean, there are days yeah. where I so think I got to. What I'm hearing is day, you, but... you chose the wrong profession. Right, yeah, any any kids out there thinking about becoming an educator, you know, coach, coach e- something, e- coach, coach something, something, and you not will. something hard though. Not like no, no, I want to be the golf coach. Yeah, oh, golf coach is yeah. going to bowling. Badminton. Yeah, and you want to be kind of good because you don't want to be a head coach 
That's no, a lot no, of no. Yeah. That's you want to be head golf coach. Yeah. Well, there's an assistant golf coach though. Oh, see? <laughs> Set your yeah. sights in the middle. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying it's there's way less pressure to be the assistant. Oh. You got a you got a, like a um what pickleball coach? That's a good one to sign up for. Right <laughs> now the assistants got to set up hotels and travel and all that. I don't oh no that. no no no! There's an activities director. Oh. Right, you got yeah. you got a lady all for right. that. Yeah, there's yeah. yep. I got a lady for that. Yep. She uh, she's real good at it. Yep. Too. She's better than me. I I do our wow. travel at your, work. Your and job I, is to get on the bus, <clears throat> count the heads, and be like, let's go. Yeah, and that's it. Buddy so, system. Everybody got your buddy. Mm-hmm. I assume, and this may that's how you lose two kids right there. Like I assume, like you don't have like the last day of school, and they just give you your paycheck for the whole summer. Like you, I mean, do you still get like the same? You well, incremental... you can you can choose, which is a interesting thing that's really? like held over from yeah from when summer school wasn't around. So my and, sister's a teacher as well. Yeah. And yeah. The, yeah. The, the, What's crazy, though, is lots of... So I choose to get mine right at the beginning of the summer because okay. now I get a big chunk of money I can do with whatever I want. Right. Mo- a lot of teachers don't because they're like, well, then I'm out of money come right. August. Because there's no financial... Right. right. See, I would probably... Spot the, payment because <laughs> These are the teachers right. Right, that are like, I can't. I could never. Yeah, so, know. yeah, you yeah, can either get... Money. <laughs> there, there are three ways, aren't there? Because you can get the chunk of money for the summer. You can have it so every month you mm-hmm. get paid the same amount or... In some school systems, at least, you can just get paid more for the nine months that you're working and then don't get paid at all during oh, the summer. Yeah. Yeah. We don't do that in my district, but yes, some districts do that. I think yeah. my sister gets paid all throughout the year, so even over the summer, but then summer school comes in a huge chunk. Yeah. So then yeah. She gets, like, Which also, is, she gets plus, paid so, like plus, regular. Like, all of her mm-hmm. like extra stuff that she does, that all uh-huh. comes in one check, too. Mm-hmm. So she still gets a big check and little check. So I guess my she question is, yearbook? is that no. you okay. work on your curriculum during the summer yeah. and you're paid for it. Yes. But there's no one that says you have to put so many hours to this. You no, could sit there I'm, and do nothing all yeah, summer. Yeah, I'm out of my contracted time. you could work as much as you possibly wanted on. You could work yeah. 30 hours a week on your curriculum if you wanted to. Yes. If you, if you okay. break it down, like with uh, parent-teacher conferences, whatever else, mm-hmm. we have X number of hours we're contracted throughout the year. And that's what you're paid for. And anything you do outside of that. So you could go above and beyond or you could do nothing. Yeah. And and that's the, like good teachers will do more and bad sure. teachers. And as, as, the, as a theater teacher, you get the raw end of the deal there because then you have to do all the shows in the evening, yeah. all the rehearsals in the evening. Yeah. If you, if you take my check hourly, it looks real embarrassing next to the, you know. Walking well, fitness coach. Watching fit, <laughs> yeah. walking fitness yeah. coach. Yeah. When you, when you break it down hourly, I have my check. I'll tell you right now, that good. dude sprains his ankle, he's out. <laughs> right. You can't walk, get out. But you no. can coach walking. You can, no, you, you can't. Got this right and left. <laughs> Just riding in a golf. You got to get certified. You got to take a <laughs> right. test. You could ride in the back of a golf cart. Just right. mm-hmm. They do. Rocky Balboa oh, style. There. You want to you go down there. The, when For summer school, they teach walking fitness, and they walk the kids from the school to the Casey's. Yeah. Is it Dustin? And the coach. <laughs> Tell yeah, me it's Dustin. Yeah, he's in the front with a golf cart, and the, and he'll go, and he'll park it halfway, and they'll just the kids will just walk by him, and then he'll drive up in front and park, and they'll walk by him, and he'll drive up and park. And they all stop at the Casey's and yeah, get a and they, and they get a soda, and then they, they, he drives them back, and that's his summer school. And summer school's a good check if you're teaching. Yeah, because that's school. extra. Yeah. No. Huh. So you gotta have the golf cart. What if a kid hits a pothole or something? <laughs> right? Yeah. Gotta be <laughs> gotta they're not going back. that fast. The oh. kid. No, no. He's, <laughs> she's talking about. <laughs> she's talking about that kid's real high and loses his way. <laughs> Hit a pothole. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. Well, I, I guess uh, Tyler and I and uh, Bubby probably chose the wrong professions here. Yeah. Sounds uh, like it. Um, <laughs> We just got to work every day and uh, sometimes more than every day. You so. were a veteran when I showed up in this. You should have given me a heads up. <sighs> if I had a heads up, I wouldn't have been there when you got there. <laughs> you want to know how I knew Thor was a veteran when we first met him? How's that? We were unloading uh, a show. And this is not a like a, a war like in the army veteran. <laughs> no. Just someone who has been there a long no. time. Someone who's, who's been in the yeah. industry. Yeah, we had to unload this big truck full of scenery and we didn't really know what was in it. We didn't know what we were going to be pulling out. And so I had a crew that was pulling stuff off of the truck and putting it on stage and Thor had a crew and their job was to organize it so we could figure out what was happening. Mm-hmm. And when I came back in, Thor said, here's a pile of things with holes in it. <laughs> here's a pile of things taller than me. <laughs> yep. Here's a pile of things that definitely move. <laughs> and I thought, okay, he knows. U- useful piles. <laughs> yep. He knows. And those those turned out to be very useful piles. Yeah, these are all the things that move. You're going to mm-hmm. want these. I yep. almost cut my face in half the first time we met. <laughs> me and Tyler. Ty- yeah, oh, me yeah. and Tyler. Have we was, told that story? I was cutting flats for the West show, mm-hmm. and they were scabbed together, and I was cutting it, and it goes, whing! 
and then flipped over and came right at yeah, me. Yeah, he had a cordless skill saw <laughs> I, that he I, ripped. I held it right in front of my face, and he goes, mm. let's just go down a minute. And I was like, let's, right, go, let's go take a break. <laughs> now, I went and smoked a cigarette, mm-hmm, maybe two mm-hmm. at the time. Yep. Now, this does not stand up in any way to Ed's story here. Oh, no, yeah. Because... That's not my story to tell. I know, but I'll tell at least this part of it. (laughs) Your dad, her dad, Mm -hmm. took a chainsaw to the face. Mm -hmm. Cutting that chainsaw, whips up towards his face. He was cutting the chainsaw. No, yes, he was cutting the... He was cutting another (laughs) chainsaw with his chainsaw. (laughs) Now, he's cutting wood with a chainsaw, and he's cutting from, you know, underneath up, and Mm -hmm. that came through, and the chainsaw whipped up at his face. That's not how it happened. He was cutting a limb. Limb. That was... Like still bouncy. Oh, and he hit a certain spot and then it bounced up in his face. But it oh. went up and it tapped gently, eyebrow and below Ooh. the cheek. Yep. And I said, Ed, would you do that that chainsaw? He goes, still my garage. I said, you need to throw that thing yep. away because yep. it's tasted blood mm-hmm. and it will want more. That's right. <laughs> it will want. More. I had to throw a chainsaw away. Mm-hmm. Yep. Same kind of reason. Yep. Yep. You can't keep those omens in your garage. You, nope. you got to get rid of that. Yep. I also whipped one into the woods once when I tripped, and I was like, nope, be gone, <laughs> devil. And I just threw it into the woods, and then I had to go find it later, mm-hmm. but I was not going to get tore up by a chainsaw. <laughs> yep. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not going out like that. Yeah, you got to put them down. Yeah. yeah. Chainsaws. Uh, I had a lawnmower that tried to kill me once. Mm-hmm. It was pretty good, too. It's yep. gone. So beware of them appliances. Sometimes they'll come out and get you, folks. Mm-hmm. I have scars from, uh, from uh, saw blades and. They're from college, and so were they um, in? A, were they in anything, or are you just cutting? He just had a hard time, and he just needed to feel something. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> no, they were total accidents. That's terrible, and Ed, you shouldn't do that. Totally, don't do that. Don't do that. They uh, they actually named an award for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby got an award. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, oh, saw blade it's award. It's a pretty fancy college. Yeah, yeah right. it's <laughs> the actual saw blade that I cut myself with. They took oh. it off, painted it gold, and put. You know, Where's that saw blade still now, have it? It's at my house somewhere. It is oh. going to find Didn't you Didn't you again. also cut off part of your finger? Well, that was me. I cut my finger <laughs> on <laughs> the table saw. I was there for that. Yeah. Table saw, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, nicked I knew. I knew thumb. he also cut his finger. Yeah, so I'm, me and saw blades, not, not the best friends, but um, yeah. But you haven't given it up? Nope. No. When I, I went, up when I went to the uh, <laughs> just some smokes a pack a day. <laughs> when I went to the college reunion a couple of weeks ago, uh, <laughs> we were visiting the shop and stage and dressing rooms and stuff that we uh, did shows in. And I was told I could not go to the shop, could not touch tool, could not see. <laughs> and how long ago was that? Uh, many many years many, ago. Many years. Uh, they made that award. It was it was actually yeah. just a. There's a actually sign just a. Was like, there's just yeah. just a picture of Bubby yeah. at, like next to the door that says, "Do not allow yeah. in this room." Yeah. And he was like, "What's Bill. that?" And they were like, "It's an award. It's a special <laughs> yeah. award." Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. It says Fragile. <laughs> All right, folks. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. What? Oh email. no! Absolutely not. It's correct. <laughs> All right, say, Bubby. We have I an email. That. We have an email. Has somebody got beef with Bubby? Uh, no, they oh. have they have a request of Bubby. Oh, um, where Bubby? Um, it's you got just your to read hammock? this top word. Yeah, Bubby, you have to read this word <laughs> we want you out to pull, loud. We want you to pole vault. Okay, uh, and I want you to pole vault, but that's that's totally separate from this email. Just look at this word, and I want you to pronounce this word, and then Amanda is going to tell us if you got it correct or what the correct pronunciation is. Natchitoches. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Amanda. It's Nakadish. Nakadish. Nak- That's how you say that? Yeah. I know what word you're talking about. Yeah. I would have said Nakadoshus as well. Yeah. That is not how it's spelled. Yeah. Okay, say it again. Nakadish. 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 And that's a town? Louisiana. It's a town. In Louisiana. Sure. Nakadish. We had a specific request to see if you could pronounce that word, and then Amanda was going to say wrong, <laughs> no matter what it was. <laughs> <laughs> she knew it was wrong, because he said it wrong on mm-hmm. the podcast. <laughs> Oh, have you said and that it before? Really bothered her. Yeah. yeah. When we were talking when he was about, meat pies. about the meat pies. Oh, me- okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, they, you, that can't be Nakadish, though, right? Like you've just you you just put some letters down and we're like, here's how you say it, mm-hmm. right? There's no. Have you ever been to Bow Dark? When you come up with some. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> in the town in the in the state of Missouri, there is a town called Bow Dark yeah. not... that is spelled Boys the Ark. B O I yeah B O I S. Space D, comma, space uh, apostrophe. ARC. Or yeah. Apostrophe ARC. Yeah. I'm sure it's based in like Cajun French. Yeah, it's just, it, it, 100%. I don't know how to it's spell an Indian it, but name. This is my best guess. Yeah, and then, and, yeah, and then um, <laughs> here in Missouri, they went, some some dude from down there wrote that town name out, and somebody yeah. went, Bodark. And they were like, 
<laughs> fucking close enough, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, that's how we got Versailles. Yeah. Versailles. Yeah, exactly. Versailles. Mm. That says Versailles only. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, my favorite town in, in Missouri is still uh, Humansville. It wasn't Uranus? No, it's not Uranus. <laughs> I like Uranus. Don't, don't get me wrong, Teller. I'm a big fan of Uranus. But... Dear Diary. <laughs> Dear Diary. He finally <laughs> said it. Uh, I like Humansville because I, I like to believe that it's just filled with aliens from outer space. Mm-hmm. And they started that town up and they're like, well, we should call our town. Well, we want to blend in. So let's call it Humanville. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nobody asked a word. <laughs> no. Oh. And then, and it turns out nobody cared. <laughs> just a bunch of aliens living there. And like, eh, we got to see if there's somewhere to eat in Humansville. Right. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to eat what's in Humansville. I'm going to be real honest with you. Because it's probably the soil and green. Pop up. Yeah. <laughs> We stop there Monkey all the time. Brains. Going to brains. City. What do, do you eat? Yeah. You get food yeah. there? Well, there's a there's a truck stop there. Going to oh, going to Kansas so City? You, oh, so you're, yeah, going to Kansas City. How could you not stop in Osceola and get cheese? That's the You proper. have to go through Osceola now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you do. It's like, no, I mean, it bypasses it. You have to, like, oh. detour 13 now goes, there's a bypass around Bullshit. Oliver, and you don't go by Osceola Street anymore. Bullshit. Yeah, you well, do. You come through it, but the, that little the cheese, cheese shop moved. Yeah. Oh, it, the yeah. move, it moved? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's I'm still speaking right there. out of town. Yeah. It's still right there. there don't long. you? But it was a daily, like, every time I went mm-hmm. up there, it was. And every family time. family just like St. Louis. They go to St. Louis all the time. That's true. Also, it's also, to be honest with you, if I have a choice, I'm going to St. Louis as well. There's more to do. I don't. I don't. Um, there's like three things in Kansas City I like, but um, there's a lot more I like in, in St. Louis. For sure, I agree with that. They got their big arch up there. That's true. They, they got that big arch up there. And they big got old the arch. City yeah. Museum. Bubba's gonna take city Parker museum. to the City Museum. I got lost in the City Museum one night. I got stuck in there once. Yeah. <laughs> they had a. They had these like little tunnels that went like up over top of, mm-hmm. uh, and I got about halfway up and. It was. It, I had to back my way out because I was not. <laughs> Ford was no longer an option. No. So. I got. I got removed by security. They just, Heck, like, yeah, you couldn't did. find your way out, or just didn't well, want to find I your was, way out. I wasn't yes. supposed to be there to begin with. There was, like you just broke in. <laughs> yeah, there was there was an event happening, I and see. I had I had been at a concert, and I, I was see. not in a right mind, I and see. I was with a girl I wanted to impress. <laughs> and Calif- we went, California soap. We went into a gala of some kind, uh, and yeah, oh, I not guess. invited to the gala. No, 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 no. Just no, happened no. upon it, yep, and it was like, yep. "This is for us." Yep. And uh, it was late at night, and we got very lost, and security forcibly removed me. Oh, I was, I was physically tossed. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was booted out of the building. Yep. So, awesome. all right. Well, mm-hmm. uh, good to know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, uh, having said all of that, we're gonna uh, start wrapping this one up. Um. If you've enjoyed the podcast, please feel free to write us at it's allfishandships at gmail.com. Check out our website. It's allfishandships.com. Uh, check out our Facebook group. That's where we post all the pictures and all the shenanigans uh, that we get up to here. Uh, it's all fish and ships, the group at Facebook. I don't You, you search for it. It's, <laughs> it pops up. I don't know how that works. Um, you can forget about the TikToks. You can forget about the Instagrams. Nothing goes there. Or just like us wherever you listen to us. Oh, yeah. Like us. Uh, subscribe. Like um, leave a review. That'd be lovely as well. Yeah. Tell your friends about it. We'd love to have some more uh, folks. I, uh, one of our uh, one of our friends who we work with recently had a heart attack. Yeah, and he went into the hospital and he was talking to one of the nurses there. And she goes, hey, "Do you know Thor?" And he goes, "Yes, I do." And she goes, "I listen to his podcast." <laughs> so, uh, and Weird. she she came from my wife's podcast, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Hot Mess Roundtable, there, and um, so that was exciting just to hear somebody else who was out there listening. Yep. Uh, Australia has been listening strong, so uh, all you folks out there, uh, <laughs> good day. Good day, mate. Um, <laughs> good day, because that's, that's all we know. Shrimp on the Barbie. Uh, wow, you fucking out Dundee. You're fluent. <laughs> right? That's all I got. Uh, Blue Lagoon, uh, is that a thing? <laughs> is that? I don't know. That movie's... I thought you were just saying things, too. I just <laughs> <thought> that movie's <laughs> inappropriate, Tyler. <laughs> I was gonna say Tank Girl as well. So. Rescuers oh, yeah. Down yeah. Under. Ice Ice T as a as a mutant mm-hmm. kangaroo in that movie. If you haven't seen that one, mm-hmm. it's a it's good. It's a trip. Um, check us out. Uh, you already did all those <laughs> on our Patreon. Oh. See, I was getting somewhere um, where you can join us as a friend of the podcast, just like Ed and. Uh, my wife and KK and Carol and Anthony, all friends of the podcast. And if you'd like to sponsor the podcast, check it out there as well. It's 20 bucks and we'll read your ad four times in a month. It's a good deal. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about all that is. So having said all that, my name is Thor. Bobby. Corey. Amanda. 
and Tyler. Remember, folks, no matter what you got going on, it's all fish and chips. Say it. I, you, you, you look like you no, want to say I something. I was going to say, drink the rest of this You think Lord okay, of the <laughs> Pour it in there. Oh, there you go. Still better than Malort.